In today's journey, we are celebrating Unboxing Day 2018. We received a number of gifts and upgrades to the studio, and we thought we'd share the unboxing process with you. Up first, we have an eBay purchase disguised as an Amazon package. And inside, we have a newer 3-in-1 photo lens. These are cheap little lenses that you can clip onto basically any smartphone so you can get more range in your composition. After fighting with the packaging for a while and savagely ripping it apart, I later realized that you're supposed to slide the middle part out. But once I finally managed to get the lenses out of the box, you'll see that there's only actually two as the macro lens on screws from the wide angle lens. Here you can see everything that comes in your kit, all three lenses, the clip to hold the lenses onto the camera, two lens caps, and a lens cloth to clean off any fingerprints. Here we're using the macro lens to get some air bubbles on a boiling flask. A wide angle lens also does some pretty good close up work. And here you can see just how wide the fisheye lens can go. Up next is the final critical part that we needed to finish our upgraded fermentation chamber. This handy ink bird will be great as it handles both heating and cooling. Although this particular model we do not recommend for anyone that does not have electrician talent already. As you will be expected to wire the whole thing up by hand and if you do it wrong you could burn your house down or kill someone. So use them at your own risk and we're not going to show you how to do it. If this diagram looks scary and confusing to you then you definitely should not try this project at home. Spend the extra money and get something that's been pre-wired. I have past experience as an electrical engineer and I'm ready for when things go wrong like this. Although if you do have the talent, these are great tools and a way to get a lot of power out of your fridges. Up next we have a basket of beer from my favorite employee at the Bees Knees Pottery. And I'm not just saying that because she gave me a basket of beer. But she does get bonus points for including mostly Michigan beers of both ones that I've had and ones that I'm looking forward to trying. And I can't wait to see which ones will waffle the best. There was also a nice glass in the basket, but I forgot to get footage of it. And there are no apologies in these savage unboxings. And last but not least is the one I'm most excited about. It comes all the way from Howell, Michigan, which is actually where I do my jury duty. And then with the grace of a four-year-old, we finish this unboxing. And no, there isn't a trash can down there anywhere. It's, I just sweep it every day. If you don't know what this is yet, I'll give you one clue. It'll prevent this from ever happening again, hopefully. The other bonus is I won't have to brew with a propane tank between my legs anymore. Always a plus. Never brew with a propane tank between your legs. That's, that's just irresponsible. If your guess was a hot plate with magnetic stir, you're right. This fancy guy is going to be able to boil over a gallon of water inside of a beaker without applying too much heat. That's going to cause it to shatter like our propane one was doing. And because this was the package I was waiting for the most, I am not going to wait a single moment to see what it can do. As soon as I'm done fighting with the cord, of course. I decided to start with a conservative test to see how long it would take to bring 1,000 milliliters of distilled water to a boil. And it only took me a little bit of watching that bar spin to realize that I'm just going to set up for the next test instead. Bringing two 1000 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks to a boil at the same time. These will be used for a side by side comparison for yeast. In our new fermentation chamber. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so that you can get a chance to view that video when it first comes out. But here's a sneak peek. FYI, time is being massively distorted.